Welcome, welcome, you guys. This is the Syndrop. I'm going to be starting a fresh campaign in Hoi 4 on basically the vanilla game, where we're going to go for some Great Britain stuff. I've been sort of dying to try out more of the, um, the naval stuff. I did get a chance to like fiddle with it a bit as Italy, but that campaign sort of ended before, well, we really got an opportunity to take advantage of that. We kind of got creamed by Germany. But um, let's try out the United Kingdom. I also have uh, been told that they've changed the UK uh, tree quite a bit. It's absolutely massive. Compared to the tiny I Italian tree, which they haven't changed at all since the base game, the, uh, the United Kingdom one is just massive. So we start with Northern Ireland. I didn't remember that. Right, this is the difference between uh, Kaiserreich and the base game. Okay. So we probably have troops all over the world. We've got colonies in just in weird places. So yeah, we've got some troops over here. That's going to take me some time to set up. But um, let's see. Navy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Really? Egypt, Scotland. Hmm... Well, before we dive into sort of the fixing of the troops, we're going to go ahead and take a look at... Well, basically, let's sort out the research right away. You can chill with this, please. Let's do basic machine tools, we'll do construction, and we'll do... Um... Oh, yeah, we start out with some stuff already researched. Well, we can, all... we can just do mechanical comp computing instead. Since, yeah, it's still 1936 tech. And then we got 1936... Um... One more research we can do. One thing I sort of like, I was thinking about how it was going to be playing as Great Britain. One thing we don't have is oil. And I learned that from my Italy campaign that if you run out of oil, your ships and planes are just, they don't do shit. We start out with Grand Battle Blend. So I'm thinking we should unlock this thing right here as soon as possible and then go for oil. Just right away. Is there a thing that gives us uh, oil? Because if there is, I don't want to waste time grabbing it. Where's the industrial tree? There is some industry over here. This is about rearmament. This is about other places. War with Japan. We can develop other countries. Meh, not that interested. Not that interested. This is... Okay, these are mutually exclusive. So we can decolonize. That would be interesting. But that leads us towards communism. Do we want to go communist? Great Britain? I'm not so sure. I kind of want to go fascist. Liberate the home of Marx. The sun never sets on the British Empire. Really? God save the king. Okay. Very, very interesting. So there's nothing here that I could see that gives me oil. Not at a quick glance. I'm just looking at the icons. So if that is not the case, I'm going to go ahead and... We've already taken that, so we don't need to change that. Uh, what do we start out with? With uh, toasters? Yeah, we start out with toasters. Okay, wonderful. Uh, we cannot build these yet. So I think it would just go civilian factories for now. Sort of like, we've got 90 here in Great Britain. Um, we got 70 up here. Yeah, we got some decent places for this. Okay, we'll start with these four and then we'll worry about the rest later. But here's the thing, though. So we can reinforce the Empire. We can revisit the uh, colonial policy. So this leads into this limited rearmament. Gives us four civilian factories right off the bat. That seems pretty good. Guide the colonies. Withdraw from contested territories. These are not mutually exclusive. It, but it does lead to decolonization. 
if decolonization has not been achieved within two years of becoming communist, a civil war will start. So this is, this is like communist. Okay, so we're not going to go here. Oh, this is just a warning then. But we're not going to go communist. So... So, yeah, we're not becoming a communist, so this warning is kind of pointless, right? It doesn't apply to me, but this does make us more communist. Doesn't it? Yeah. But do we get a, uh, a government that supports that? No. Huh. We get a bunch of puppets. We basically turn all of our territories into puppets. Huh. Indian independence. Three nation solution for India. Huh. I'm not that interested in... This is like 35 days, 70 days, each of these. We're never going to have time to do all of this. Steady as she goes. Daily democracy support. Or we got... Daily fascism support. Really? So this is definitely what we're going to choose on this side of the tree. And then I think we're going to go the black shirts. Yeah, this is communist stuff. Alliance with Germany. Non-interference treaty with Germany. I don't really want to ally, ally with the Germans. I kind of want to, you know, ditch them and do my own thing here. Secure the Italian alliance. I don't really want that. We get puppet focus against German Reich. Really? Bring the Dominions back into the fold. Huh. Interesting. Preempt the ideological threat. Soviet Union. So if we go the King's Party, we can go to war with... Uh, we can go to war with the Soviets. If we go the Black Shirts, this one... Requires one of the following. So this is uh, not it's not mutually exclusive. So it doesn't matter if I go King's Party or the Black Shirts. I can always go down this path. So what is Black Shirt only here? It's the Italian Alliance. Some factories. We can get the Spanish on our side. So we could get the Spanish on our side. And then go to war with Germany. Really? So it's it's a choice between going to war with Germany or war with the Soviet Union. That seems weird. Like, I don't have any borders with the Soviets, do I? I don't have any borders with the Germany either, but still. Uh, I think, as always, you should start with industry. But I've already picked this here, and then I think I'm going to go with the black shirts. Let's see, does this give me fascism support? Um, the non-aligned party will now be called the King's Party. Okay. Okay, so this is non-aligned. This is just the monarchists. Communists and fascists. Okay, okay, so we're definitely not going down. We're going with the black shirts and we're going for fucking up the Spanish stuff. Okay. This is communism. So we're not going down that route. We're going for reinforce the empire. We can coerce Spain. Balkan strategy. Let's not worry about this. Research speed. This is the Commonwealth. We don't really want to bother with that. At least not in the beginning. Fortify East Asia. I kind of want to ditch this. Kind of. I guess we just go for limited rearmament and get some factories. And then, yeah. Grants four building slots and four military factories in total in two states when entering a war. So I have to go to war for this to actually fire. But I do get military factory conversion cost. Wait, civilian to military factory. Okay, that's fine. This tree is massive. This is going to take me some time to do. 
An extra research slot early on would be kind of nice. Six military factories. Okay. Infantry equipment production cost. Electronics, rocketry, nuclear technology. Really? This is how you make a focus though. 70 days for five boosts all giving a hundred percent increase. That is a proper way to do like a research boost only focus. I have to be in a faction with the United States. That's probably not gonna happen. But I did not, I don't think I put, uh, picked um, historical AI focuses. But it's fine, we'll go with this. So we've taken a look at the focus tree for now at least. We'll um, worry about that later. So go away, go away, go away. Give me this. Uh, this is fine for now. I probably should have some fighters. I hate that sound. So, fighters. Hmm. Yeah, we should definitely have some planes. I do have carriers, don't I? I have five carriers. But what are these carriers carrying? Bombers, naval bombers, that is. And fighters. Well, I, I need my navy to be strong, so I suppose I could have... I could just trade this one in for a carrier fighter. This one for a navy one, so we'll have the, the carrier planes there, because we do need them to be working. So our carriers are not going to become useless. Okay. Um... What else? What else? I don't think we need to worry about the tanks. The motorized we don't need to worry about until we get a better industry. I think I'll just take the regular fighters then. And put them over here. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. So, uh, let's take a look at the forces we have just in England. Uh, let's see here. We have... Colonial Garrison. And we've got an infantry division. I'll just make this into the pawn. So we've got no pawns here. We do have two cav units and a tank. No, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. What is this cav division? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm not a fan of cav. Not when I have the ability to go for uh, well, anything else, really. I could just delete them for, for the guns, but... I could just keep them for now and then worry about it later. Like, the combat strength on all of these units is just god-awful. 30%. And it says we're only lacking like 700 guns. If I unpause, is that going to change? Let's put it on speed 4 here. There's no way. Yeah, it keeps rising. Look at that. Okay. Let's take a look at what we have. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and make like a garrison like theater here. Yeah, this might take me some time. So we control everything over here. Why do we have a cab there? I don't know. But if we do this, this and this and just defend the naval bases. I think I'll send the cav back home into this division. Yeah. The music it doesn't really fit what I'm doing, does it? So we got some more stuff over here. I'm gonna add you to these guys. There's nothing to defend over here. Or actually, I could just do this and here. Just defend that one port. I suppose. So we got more over here. Do this, do this, and just defend the ports. Oh boy. So how many more divisions do I have? I got seven divisions. Defend uh, the port. You still need two dudes for that. Really. Well, I might be able to send some over. I don't think I need... 
three dudes for this. Yeah, I'm gonna send one of these dudes to you. Apparently you need two guys. Oh, there's two of these. Okay, so this this little island counts as a part of a den. Okay. Uh, you're gonna have your own. Man, the micro. No, it, it's not macro. It's micro when I'm doing this. It's a lot of just small management. All right, we've got Hong Kong. Okay, so what's left? Singapore. Wonderful. Uh huh. We need three dudes for this. Apparently. Do I have any more? Ceylon is over here. And that's it. That's all we have for dudes. So this is like the uh, garrison theater. And I'm hoping I can just ditch this at some point. Or I'm just going to leave those dudes there until they are... I don't know. Killed or become useless. Either way. I think they will be useless pretty quickly. Uh, so we got 16 dudes over here. Well, for now, I'm just going to garrison all of England and just have them focus on the ports. Oh, uh, yeah, we got it. Uh, we got some Northern Ireland stuff. I think I'll ditch uh, Northern Ireland for now. And technically, Scotland is a bit too much as well. No, it's 13. No, 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 no. This is 15? 16, exactly! Okay, so 16 divisions to do this garrison order. And you guys are just gonna go ahead and... If I do this and I just tell you to guard the victory points, you should all just be in London defending it. Okay, that's done. Man, you, there's a lot of ships just on the way here. Let's just do this so you finish what you have in the pipeline. Okay. Okay, maybe. Sort this by area. So we've got submarine flotilla and we've got these dudes over here. Okay, so this has already been like made a bit. So these dudes are in Alexandria. Um Huh. Grabbing a quick drink here. Um, first off, this is what I prefer. So if we do a strike force here, you, on the other hand, just go patrol uh, over here. So we'll have eight submarines patrol this area. If they find any ships, this big unit should uh, deploy from Alexandria. I think that's the best way of doing it. You just limit the amount of fuel you use, and they should be able to respond pretty quickly there. Uh, Scotland. Okay, so this one has already been made. Light cruiser and a heavy cruiser. So, um... I'll just put all of you at Strike Force and put you at the North Sea. But I'm gonna deselect you. And I'll put both of you on patrol instead. Okay. This is just a bunch of destroyers. I think I'll merge you up with this guy. This is the same, I'll just merge you guys up. Where, where are you going? Oh, you're just docking up over there. You're still set to strike force, okay? We've got two patrols and one strike force in the North Sea. That should work fine. Okay. Docked in Sussex. Submarine. Go strike force. Deselect you. I'll deselect you as well. You guys go on patrol instead. 
Why would you go up there? I did not assign you to that. Are they working in conjunction? They're a part of the same strike force, aren't they? Yeah, the big home command red one over here. Okay, and our fuel is going down. Let's see, we have... Can I see the ones that are not currently assigned to anything? No, probably not. So, um... Just patrol over here. That should be fine. Do we have anything here? No. Over here? Does not appear that way. Southern India. We've got a carrier and a light cruiser. We've got nobody to scout for you, so you'll just have to patrol this on your own. And my oil is plummeting. So who should we trade with for the oil? The United States make the most sense. I think I'll just take, like, five? Civilian economy is hurting our um, stockpile capacity, but not how well we use it. So this is going up, so that's good. England, southern China. You don't have anybody to scout for you either. Guess I'll put you on patrol here? Oh, you're a part of the same one, the Far East Command. Docked in Singapore. Go ahead and patrol over here. So we can cover these three zones. Docked in Ellis Island. Where the hell is that? It should be somewhere around here. Where's the go-to button? Ah, go to. There we go. Uh, I don't know what the island that is, but you're kind of useless over there. Kinda. Go patrol. Okay, so... Do I need these patrols? <gasps> no! King George V dies! His Majesty George V, King of, U King of United Kingdom and the British Dominions, an emperor of India, really, has passed away. His quiet calm and devotion to his subjects saw the empire through both the Great War and the Great Depression. His son will assume the mantle as King Edward VIII, but there are already concerns that he will be too independent of thought. Stanley Baldwin and Neville Chamberlain are preparing to ensure that he will accept direction from the Prime Minister and the Cabinet. So, weakness ability goes down. We're just gonna lose stability outright. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna ditch, like... I'm gonna cancel this. So... Like, Singapore is very, very, very important to me. Like, losing this Hong Kong... Let's see, Hong Kong has... Fuck all. No resources, no factories. These islands over here, I don't think they have anything for me either. Ceylon has some rubber, but Singapore has all of this junk here. So I'm just going to take all of these dudes, sail them over here. Uh, what if I do... If I tell you to patrol here... No, no, no. Just patrol over there. And then I tell everybody to merge. How? What's going to happen then? So you should all be merging up together. I'm going to make a recon fleet and we're going to have a task force sitting right here in Singapore. Okay, you guys have all merged. Go to Singapore. We'll just have the submarines do the, the recon. That should be fine. And we're losing fuel pretty quickly. I'll take a look at the decisions later. Okay, you guys have docked. Uh, give me this. Let's make a task force of submarines. And... We'll put you guys on patrol over here. Yes, and you guys are going to be on task strike force over here. So at least we'll be able to cover Singapore. The rest of uh, Asia I can fuck off, in my opinion. And you guys... 
Do I need you? Just go back and I'll merge you guys together, but just go here and don't... I can launch them later? Like, what are these seven ships gonna do? Nothing. That's what they're gonna do. Nothing. So I'm merging them together. You are docked in Bermuda. Really? Oh, you're over there. Well, go over here. You are docked in the Falklands. Well, we don't need the Falklands. They're not valuable. But this little sea tile over here is quite, like, a lot of traffic is going to go through this place. So if we do have something that can intercept ships going through this area, that would be quite nice. So this is Far East Command, North and South America Command. Okay. You guys are all docked in Sierra Leone. So, you are now one task force. Uh, yeah, so. Let's just get the submarines out. We'll do this. Strike force. You are set to patrol. So, two submarines and then we got a task force of um, some heavy cruisers like cruisers and destroyers. They can do some damage. They can do some damage. So this list already looks way better. Yeah. North Sea, North Sea, England, England, England. Sub-Saharan Africa. Excuse me? Oh, yeah, this is what I already did. Never mind. The Mediterranean fleet, I already fixed that. You have orders to strike force. Yeah, everybody here has orders. What are you? Oh, these are ships I just made. Okay, let's unpause and try to get some uh, get something done here. Man, Great Britain just starts off everywhere. There are just British people in all corners of the world right now. But, but look at England now. They're basically stuck here. <laughs> Soon, when they leave uh, the EU, they're going to be uh, completely alone. But th then again, the EU signed that fuck up, fucked up like bill that... I don't remember the bill, but it was like something about ownership of uh, material that are, you have to pay. I don't know what it is, but the EU just got more censorship. They're going to get. Somebody told me that they're going to be more censored in EU after this bill has passed and been gone into effect than China censors their own people. So <laughs> the EU is going to be more censored than China, which is just ridiculous. I don't think it's censorship, though. Fuck. I should not talk about things that I don't really know. I apologize. <laughs> Let's not get too political here. Um, but this one here, no. Where are these ships that are making? Where are they popping out? Greater London area. Is that... That's this one. So these are all the new ones. Okay, I should be able to remember that. They're, they're popping out of, in England. Let's go to speed 5 and try to get some focuses done. Limited rearmament got us four civilian factories in two, uh, two civilian factories in two locations. So we get 100% boost to motorized. I don't think we need that. This is motorized and this is armor. 70 days each. That's completely useless. Reinforce the Empire. Service overseas, we can get research speed. Revisit colonial. Hmm. So I don't want to stop being an empire. Like, this is like... We are, are just leaving these places and giving them up. I don't like that idea. I really don't. But holding on to all of these guys, maybe we should, like, go for this path. I don't want to go communist, but I kind of want to ditch all of these people all over the world. Like, if I have to worry about land in all of these places and defending them like I just did, this campaign is going to be so fucking painful. I'm going to have to play it at, like, speed 2 if I have to defend everything. 
So if we can ditch these and have puppets instead, that would be kind of nice. But I think if I lose Singapore, I lose a lot of like stuff. Oh, it doesn't belong to me, does it? Uh, let's see. This is British Malaysia. Right, 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 right. Why does the patrol not work? Excuse me? Where are you going? No, you're not patrolling this. Okay, now it makes sense. Okay, good, good, good. I think we should go for this. I don't want to... I don't want to bother with the colonies. It's too much work. A colonial power. Eh. So with this, we just ditch all of the colonies? Uh. Yeah, we'll just get rid of these dudes. I don't want to go for this. Let's just revisit the colonial policy. But actually, we could go for this one first to get some fascism going. Yeah, let's go for this. Let's try to unlock some uh, early, some um, some decisions to go fascist. Let's not leave that for last. We are gaining some political power. We're actually gaining 0 0.99, even on veteran difficulty. I'm guessing that's because of party popularity? No. Why am I gaining so much? Base value 2, yes. Stanley Baldwin, stability. Yeah, we're just stable-ish. Yeah, we're starting at 73% stability. So. Gateway to Europe. The Germans are using the Dutch as a backdoor, circumventing our blockade by using neutral Dutch shipping and ports to pass trade through. If we wish to make our blockade more successful, we must bend the Dutch to our will. Nope, don't care. So this is the naval conference. Expand the Burma Road. Grow rubber plantations in Nigeria. Nope, don't care about any of this. And building up the British Raj. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So, the oil we are producing is enough to run everything. That is beautiful. So, the dockyards are getting finished. We've got a cruiser here left to go. So, what can we build? Uh, early, this is like a mining, mine class? What is this thing it has on it? Mine laying rails. I didn't really take a look at that. This is completely, this is just a mine, mine sweeper. No, a mine laying ship. Okay. An early heavy ship. I can't make a carrier. Ah. Design lacks one or more required modules. Okay. Look at the production for the submarine. It's dirt cheap. But yeah, it's a, it's a one, rank one. Let's go for the rank two ships. So we got a cruiser hull and a destroyer hull. Okay, let's go for destroyers and we'll go for cruisers. How about that? There we go. So once this one is done, we'll just do this. A change in course. So let's organize the black shirts. The success of the British Union of Fascists depends on its public image. We can show our movement's spirit of unity and personal strength by holding military inspired marches throughout the country. Yeah, that's goose stepping is always good, right? We always like that. We will attract more followers while also cowing the opposition into inaction. The eventual goal would be a march on Downing Street itself, calling for a change in leadership. I get 200 political power. I can't say no to that. Uh huh. Beautiful. Everything is in the green here, except for I think my stability is just plummeting because my dude died. Now, the king is just shit. <laughs> He's just depleting my stability. I don't like that. So, we have to do something about that. Na Second Na London Naval Treaty signed. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. Withdraw from the Naval Treaty. 
We could do that at some point. Uh, we'll go with... Uh, no, we'll go with Dispersed. We might have to be a bit flexible with what we produce. Uh, okay, so I want to get into early mobilization as quickly as possible. So, give me. So a change in course is giving us stability. Uh, the remilitarization of the Rhineland. Yeah, we don't care. We, we don't care. So, let's go for this. Give me 150. U.S. Congress passes Neutrality Act. If they're going to stay neutral, I'm happy about that. We've got 20 civilian factories working on production. Uh, on construction, sorry. Give me this. Give me this. Yeah. Give me more. Let's just have a bunch of civilian factories and then we'll pump out military ones. As soon as we can get out of this one. If we can get to war economy, that would be amazing. Because right now we are on... 27% consumer goods factories? Is that right? Uh, Edward VIII's abdication crisis. For some time, King Edward VIII has entertained hopes to marry the American Wallace Simpson. A constitutional crisis has now arisen, as Mrs. Simpson is not only divorced from her previous husband, but in point of fact, still married to her current husband. <laughs> Oops. Presently pursuing a second divorce. General outrage has ensued on the grounds that as king, and being the head of the Church of England, Edward cannot marry a divorcee. Really? Is that a thing? You can't marry somebody who's been divorced? That's weird. The king, however, has made it abundantly clear that he is very much in love with Mrs. Simpson and intends to marry her regardless of the opinions of his government or his subjects. As such, only three options remain open to him. The British government and the governments of the Dominion have already stated that any alternative abdication any alternative to abdication would be unacceptable. And repercussions, repercussions of trying to force through a marriage, even an attempted compromise, would likely be dire, not only to Britain itself, but also for its ties to the Commonwealth. As the king's closest advisors continue their attempts to convince him, the public awaits with bated breath the resolution of this conflict between the king and his cabinet. So we, we can get him to abdicate. So we get rid of the stability declining. Compromise on a morganatic marriage. Uh, change the popularity of non-aligned. Okay. Insist on a royal marriage. Do we need Edward VIII for anything? God save the king. Uh, do we have to have him in charge? If he abdicates, what then? Hmm, it doesn't say anything about any, like, named individual here. Okay. If that's the case... I think we'll just have the dude abdicate. See ya. So this should go away, I think. There goes Ethiopia. It took you until June to do that? Oh, he's not gone. There we go. King Edward abdicates. Prime Minister Baldwin has made it quite clear that the dignity of the King Emperor... That's such a weird... That's such a weird title. Will be impinged if he were to marry not just a commoner but also a divorcee. And if that was not bad enough, an American... Oh, really? Yeah. Fuck those guys. After much soul-searching, His Majesty has chosen love over duty and has chosen to abdicate. His younger brother, Albert, will assume the mantle as King George VI. London bookmakers are already taking odds on whether this shy man will make it to his own coronations. Really? Popular figurehead. Stability 15%. So I go up to 100? Or do I already have it? I already have it. Okay. Construction 1. We'll go with excavation because we need all the resources we can get, especially once I have oil. And once we, we can also boost up infrastructure in a lot of places to get some more resources. So under the leadership of Oswald Mosley, the British Union of Fascists has begun an organized campaign of marches across the country, thus seeking to grow the number of fascist supporters throughout the United Kingdom. 
The violent counter-reaction by anti-fascist elements of the public have already caused a number of street fights. However, it is uncertain whether stability will be maintained or whether the political unrest will become even worse. The BUF leadership, BUF, black shirts, okay, for their part have already vowed, vowed not to stop until they have marched on Downing Street and demanded a change of government. Okay, so I just got a fuckload of political power there. So I can go... Partial? No. Right, we're not fascists. Okay. So if you can't do that, can we get a dude for civilian construction? Civilian factory construction? All of these are grayed out. Air base. No, this is... No, I don't want this guy. This is conversion cost. This is a military factory. Silent workhorse? I don't think I need this dude. Back room backstabber. Um, I don't think we need any of that. So we have um, grand battle planned, do we not? Yes. So if I were to take that dude early on, we could get some army experience pretty easily. So we take this dude over here. We get up to 250. I'm just going to get him quickly and not take a focus yet. There we go. So we get... Every single day, army experience, and all the doctrines for Grand Battle Plan will be cheaper. Thank you. And now we can do the Shadow sh Scheme. Interesting. So I can't continue down this path until we are actually fascists. Okay. We could do this one. Political power, stability goes down, the communist. Um, guide the colonies. Everybody starts liking us. Uh, this one does nothing until we go to war. This is just a boost to stuff. This one gets us six military factories. I kind of want to beeline it for this and also get the research slot. Um, so we return Aden, Hong Kong, Labrador, Newfoundland, Falkland Islands. Northern Ireland and Gibraltar. Ah, uh, okay. So all of these take 35 days, from what I can tell. Oh, not this one. The Asian one takes longer. Alright. Well, I want my factories first. So we'll go with the Shadow Scheme. Shadow Scheme. Sorry, I don't know why that's hard for me to pronounce. And we went negative there for a second? But I think we'll go ahead and pause it here. So, it took me forever to sort out the naval and colonial stuff. Uh, we got the garrison sort of set up, but I think we're planning on just ditching all of this. Like, the actual resources we're getting from these places is just fuck all. We're getting chromium down here, but I think we have... Ooh, chromium might become an issue if we ditch all of it. But this is Africa. That one was quite late, if I recall. The Africa release stuff. Yeah, here it is. So we could just skip that one for a while and just keep the Chromium until we get some decent ships. Don't know. But this, this warning there at the bottom. If decolonization has not been achieved within two years of becoming communist. So... For me, that means if I'm not going communist, there will not be a civil war. Okay? So let's just be clear on that. I hope so. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see you. And thanks for watching.